Hello friends, welcome to welcome back to my channel. This is a very fun video, just in time for the holidays. This is my bookish gift guide video. I have a bunch of ideas here that either I love as a bookish person or I'd like to receive as a bookish person and I'm going to take you through them. So let's hop right into the list of gifts that I've pre-made for you to shop for the bookish person in your life or for yourself. You know, you have to get yourself a little holiday treat, you know. I will preface this and say that these are split in between two categories and there's like a regular reasonable category and then there's a category that I would call like wifey status category where it's like I wouldn't necessarily spend the money on this for just a girlfriend you know what I mean like there's levels to gift giving and we all have to be aware of everybody's monetary availability this time of year so some of these even have levels to them and I will list the levels for you and all of the links to the stuff that I can talk about and find because some of these are kind of old will be in the description box down below. So the first thing I personally have also is a book stamp. Mine's custom from Etsy. It says Ex Libris Emily and then it has my last name on it which is why I'm not showing it because it does have my last maiden name on it so I'm not going to put it on here but I will put up a picture of some that you can find on Etsy and that's where mine is from. I'll link the shop that mine is from specifically down below but this is a great great gift especially since it's personalized for anybody in your life who's a reader, for anybody who collects books, for anybody who has a big bookshelf and books that they love so much they'll probably never get rid of because then they could put a book stamp in them and when they loan them out to their friends they'll be really impressed by how cool they are about their books. So I think mine was about $30 which makes this a pretty good reasonably priced gift for anybody this holiday season. The other gift that I have here is a book bow, a book pillow. Basically this is a pillow shaped specifically to support your arms and your hands while reading. I also use it to play video games. They have these in a bunch of different colors and a bunch of different texture fabrics. I've had mine for probably four years and it's in excellent condition still and I use it every time I read a physical book which is not like often often because I love my Kindle but when I do read a physical book, I have to have my book bow. Speaking of Kindle, the next couple things on my list are a combination of Kindle things. You can give them at different levels, you can give them at different times, like maybe get a Kindle for Christmas, but you get a Kindle case and Kindle accessories for your birthday the next year or something like that. Or like a stocking stuffer because some of this stuff is not too expensive. So. The first thing is the Kindle itself. I personally have had an Oasis and a Paperwhite. I prefer the Oasis because of the weighted side and the way that you hold it. Mine lasted about five years and 800 hours of reading time before it gave out on me and then I stole NYX. Kindle Paperwhite, so I've used that one. He has the 2021 Kindle Paperwhite. Both of them are great. I will say, if you want wifey level, get the Kindle Oasis. In my opinion, it's worth the extra money, especially if you can get it on a Black Friday deal or an Amazon Lightning deal or something like that. If you are balling on a budget, 100% get the Paper White. There is absolutely nothing wrong. It's a great Kindle. I put the clear case on mine with a pop socket on the clear case. I would not recommend putting a pop socket directly on your Kindle. I made that mistake and then I had to like wedge it off with a butter knife. I would not do that. I would put it on a clear case and then put the clear case on your Kindle. The stickers on the back of my Kindle, I will link down below the shop that they're from. Actually, the Jude and Carden one is from Etsy, but the other one is from a specific shop that I will link down below. But they are not actually stuck on there. I used a piece of tape, you know, like curled around how you do, and then stuck it to it and then stuck it to the Kindle so I could take them off and put different stickers on as I wish. So. Those are great little tiny gifts, like if you want one big gift, if you want the whole thing to be centered around bookish and do like a Kindle and then the case and then some stickers, the case I think is like $10. So all together, you're probably looking at like 200 bucks maybe. Or if they already have a Kindle and you're like, well, what can I get them? They already have a Kindle, they already love a Kindle. I would recommend gifting them three, six or 12 months of Kindle Unlimited. You can go on to Amazon. You can buy three, six or 12 months at a time at usually a more discounted rate. And then you send it as a gift like to the email and they go on their email and they like turn it on and sign it on and get the three, six or 12 months. 12 months, obviously wifey level, that's a whole year. I think it's it's like $11.99 monthly. 
so I'll put a picture up of what the price is, but I'm sure it changes um, because they've raised the price of Kindle Unlimited this year. So I'm not 100% sure what it is now, but I'll get a screen grab of the prices and put them up here for you to see. I highly recommend Kindle Unlimited, especially if you're a romance reader. It has an abundance of romance and fantasy romance for you to read. There's also some good thrillers on there if you're into that kind of thing. In my opinion, if you read only one book a month from Kindle, it's worth it because like a regular paperback book at Barnes & Noble or something is like $14.99 and Kindle Unlimited is only $11.99. So as long as you read one book for the price of a book, you got a good deal. Next thing is the book sleeves. I have several of these. I like to put my physical books in them when I travel. So when you put them in a bag, they don't get dinged up. I have a very small one that I put my Kindle in as well. So I use that for travel specifically for my Kindle so it has a case so it doesn't just get lost in my carry-on bag and I know where it is and I know it's protected. I have my other one, my favorite one, has the pocket in the front. That is a Happy Go Lovely Sleeves, I think is the name. And I will link her shop down below. That's my best one because it has a pocket and I can fit two books. Like I can fit my book journal and a small book in it and then in the pockets I like to put pens and bookmarks. So I really love that one. And if anybody is looking for a book gift, I think a lot of these are around like $25-ish plus shipping. Don't quote me on that. And of course, the bigger they are, the more expensive they are. And they go by sizes of books. They have like trade paperback, paperback, and then big hardcovers. So I highly recommend these. I have several myself. I'm using these. These are kind of the gifts that I definitely use all the time and I'm recommending them now to you, to somebody in your life who loves to read. This one, I will say 18 and up. I would not give this to anybody uh, too young because this is the spicy coloring book from Amazon. I have not colored anything in this book because honestly, to be real honest with you, Linda, I keep this in my carry-on with my package of markers because this is like my, I'm on a plane and I need something to do with my hands. I can't just sit here and read. The Dramamine didn't knock me out, so now I gotta have something to do. I have this coloring book. It's super cute. It's a little dirty. Like, I think in my flip through you can see some, like catch a few naughty words. So I would, I would not color the ones that specifically say dirty things on a plane, but there are some fun like bookshelf ones that I would color on a plane and then the rest I would probably do in my own time with an audiobook. But this is not very expensive. It's very funny. It's very niche. If you know your girl is a romance girly, is a smut girly, then this is a great gift for her. I think the pouch that I have all my colors in is a Read Band Books pouch and I, I have to get online and get you where the pouch that I have all of my little markers in is a Read Band Books and I got this many years ago and I think it was a gift so if I can find it online I will link specifically to it down below if they don't make it anymore I will just link to the general store but this little combo of you know the markers the little pencil case and the coloring book is a great gift if you're gifting for a girlfriend or if you're gifting you know a little gift and a big gift or something like that that's an excellent choice I think, personally, I would be thrilled to get a gift like this. Now, the next one is definitely wifey level. I would not just do this or go out of my way to find these for just a girlfriend. This is definitely wifey status, but these are the original covers of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series. I, for some reason, don't have Wings and Ruin. I only have a Court of Thorns and Roses, A Court of Mist and Fury, and A Court of Frost and Starlight. I thought I had Wings and Ruin, but I guess I didn't but they don't make these anymore. They're discontinued, they are out of print. So to get these, you have to buy them secondhand somewhere. I bought mine on Pango. I buy all my secondhand books on Pango basically. And they're not cheap. I think I paid something like $80 a book, but these were my Christmas gifts from me to me from last year. I bought them with like my Christmas spending money. So she's gotta be a big fan of these books. And I would maybe only get like one to maximum if you can find them and if you can get them within a reasonable price because some people are asking like crazy money for these online and I would not pay for it if it was that but she's got to be a big fan you got to be willing to spend but if she doesn't have it and she's a big fan or they're a big fan whoever I'm not saying dudes can't love the series they would be thrilled to get these books I know for a fact they would be like psyched out of their mind to have the original out of print copies of the A Court of Thorns and Roses series okay this next one is this right here 
This is my book cart. It's pretty new here. It's only been around maybe like a month, but I've already got some stickers on it. I've already got my unread owned TBR right here, my physical TBR that I need to read. And yeah, this is a very good gift. It's not very big. You can see that it's only as, almost as tall as I am sitting down. So it doesn't take up a lot of space. So if she has a bookshelf that is very full or if she needs some storage space for her crafting stuff, I actually have my diamond painting stuff in here right here. So if she needs a little crafting supply area, if she needs a little extra space for her books, I would highly recommend a book cart. This one I think is like $35. It's you got to assemble it yourself, but Nick did it, so I don't even know if it's hard to be honest. And then you can always up the ante of the gift with some bookish stickers. I will link the shop that these book stickers are from in the description down below and you can browse through them. But yeah, this is a great gift. I actually keep this in my office, but I rolled it in here to show you. So it really do be a good gift and I am loving having it. And I love the separation between the books on my bookshelf and the books on this. So yeah, I would highly recommend. This is a good gift and it comes in like a nice big box. So when you get it and you wrap it and it's kind of a big box and you're like, what could it be? It's definitely not a book, but guess what? It's still bookish. So yeah. Yeah, excellent gift. The next thing I have, you could even gift separately or you can gift together. A lot of these I think are bookish mix and match gifts based on your price limitations. So the first one is a Archer and Olive book journal and you don't have to specifically use this as a book journal. They have blank pages, they have dotted pages, they have lined pages. So if she's like a journaler journaler, you can get her the lined pages. If she likes to do bullet journaling, you can get her a dot grid one. They have really excellent paper quality. They have really excellent excellent like bound quality and the covers are very sturdy. I really love these. I think this is like my fifth one maybe that I'm currently on. You can see more detail of what I do in the book journals and some of the book journal videos on my channel. I will link them above and below if you want to see how I do it, how I set it up. If you wanted to combine this gift with something, I would suggest the sets of Tombow like colored markers that they sell. You can get them on Amazon. I have, I think, the grayscale, the cottage, and the pastel packs at the very least, and a couple more are on my list for Christmas. They're about $23, and I think that the journals run about $25 to $35, depending on what size. Mine are all A5, because that's my preferred journaling size. But yeah, a book journal is great. If they have a book hobby and they're looking to take the book hobby farther and do more with it, a book journal is an excellent place to do that because it turns your book reading and book buying and book sorting and book selling hobby into also a book journaling hobby and also stickers excellent gift for that i personally bought a bunch of stickers for all my girlfriends this year everybody i know basically except like my mom is getting bookish stickers for christmas because they just have so many and you can get them down to even what genre people like to read so yeah Excellent gift. Also, while I journal, I like to drink a hot cup of tea. I am a tea person. I do not drink coffee. I actually don't drink caffeine. So all of the teas that you see right now, those are decaf teas. They're from a really cute shop and some of them have like a little bit of a bookish theme or a cozy theme. So those are really fun to add on to the bookishness of it. Not only is it a cozy drink, but it's also got cozy vibes and cozy names. And then if you do drink caffeine, if you enjoy caffeine, the ZT brand is actually made in Austin, Texas, and they make some of my favorite caffeinated teas. And I highly recommend those if you're looking for maybe one decaf and one er or one herbal for nighttime and one caffeinated one for like morning time. I would do a double whammy with those personally, but obviously it's up to your interpretation of your favorite flavors or you the person you're gifting favorite flavors. Let's just add on to the coziness here, shall we? A heated blanket. I live in Texas, so it doesn't even really get that cold here, but last night it got into the 40s at night and so I had my heated blanket going. I like to put it on my bed and get it heated up before I even get in bed, so like my bed spot is preheated. And then when I work, I take it from the bed to my office, I use it at my office chair, and then when work is over, I take it to the couch and I use it on the couch until I go to bed. And then I take it back to bed, and on the days when it's really cold and we don't turn the heat on, so it's like 64 degrees in the house, it's a lifesaver. And I don't know about you, but the cold makes my anxiety really bad. Like being physically cold makes my anxiety so much worse, and so I live and strive to be as warm and cozy as possible. I actually bought another heated blanket and mailed it to myself at Nick's family 
house in Wisconsin, so I will have a heated blanket all to myself in Wisconsin. I don't know how it took me eight years to get to this point, but I'm very excited to have that because I think it's gonna really up my cozy vibes when I'm there. These range from a variety of prices. You can go low and maybe get a $30 to $60 one. You can go high and get one over $100. It really depends how much your budget is. It really depends what you're comfortable spending for the holidays and how many people maybe you have to gift bookish things to. I don't know, I wish I could buy everybody bookish gifts. One last cozy gift. If you really wanted to go hard, if you really wanted to go there, you could do an entire like cozy gift basket. You could do a heated blanket. You could do a book journal. You could buy a book that they want. You could buy some tea, maybe a piece of candy, some popcorn to pop. You could put it all out a basket. You could have like a bookish cozy gift basket. I would love to get one of those. Isn't that what the people on TikTok are calling it right now? Burr baskets or whatever? Anyway, if you wanted to add to that coziness, you could get a bookish themed sweatshirt. I have several. I have an Akator themed one. I have a Off Campus by L. Kennedy themed one. I have a general bookish vibe ones. And then the best one for holidays, I think I got the year last year or the year before that. And it says something along the lines of, it's cold outside, let's stay inside and read. And I can't think of anything better to gift for a winter holiday than a book that specifically talks about the fact that it's cold outside and you ain't want to do nothing else except sit under your heated blanket and be cozy. So any of those are good. I like mine oversized. So if you know what size the person you're gifting for generally wears, I would size up one because I personally like them to be kind of big and baggy and cozy and like slumpy almost so that's just my preference but I think a lot of people kind of agree with that. I have one more thing to talk about on my gifty listy on my nifty gifties and that is a combo of a diamond painting set and a set of headphones. You could do one or the other, you could do them both, and here I'm gonna tell you that there are different levels of price. If you're kind of low level, if you're including this in like your cozy gift basket for a cozy hobby, then you could get any of the ones on Amazon. You could find them for like $25 for six of them, I think. I think the last one I personally did was from Amazon and I think it cost me like $6. So those are the low price ones. You can also get a low price set of headphones. I have these pink ones. I will link them in the description box down below. I think that they were around like $80, but you can get even cheaper ones. And of course, headphones get way expensive. They get like, I think when I was looking for ones, they got up to like $1,800 or $1,100, which to me is crazy. But I will say that on my personal wish list, for this holiday season is a pair of nice headphones and I will say that I mean I went to try them on so I already know but I got the white Bose Quiet Comfort Ultra. I will link them down below. I got the white ones and I got these specifically because a comfort. You're, if you're gonna wear them and listen to an audiobook for an extended amount of time, which is specifically what I got these for, you need them to be comfortable because you need to wear them. And I wear glasses and I'm committed to my glasses. So they have to be comfortable over my glasses. Obviously I can't show them to you because they are a Christmas gift and I am filming this the day before Thanksgiving. So I have not unwrapped them yet, but I did try them on in the store and I can say that they are very comfortable and the sound quality is extremely good and they are much lighter than the very popular Apple over the year headphones. So I'm getting those for Christmas. So like I said, if you want to go bougie, if you want to go wifey status, wifey level, you can do that with the very expensive over $400 headphones, but you could pair them with a cheapier version of the Amazon diamond painting kit. If you wanted to go quality on the diamond painting kit or medium quality on both, I would recommend that Diamond Art Club. I'm showing you the one I got for my birthday. It is like a very colorful guinea pig, but they have a lot of like, very cozy ones, witchy ones, gardening ones, older lady vibe ones. They have some holiday ones. They have, you know, a variety and they come out with a lot of new ones all the time. And I think they also have a club where they send you like one a month, but personally it takes me longer to do them than that. So I just buy them individually when they're on sale. So those I think range between, that one wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $40, but I think I did get it on sale. But the other ones I've looked at are around like $70. So if you wanted to do like the $80 pair of headphones and the $70 diamond painting. And that is a pretty solid gift right there, especially for like a girlfriend or anything like that, depending on, again, depending on your budget. You can get a $6 one, you can get a set of six for $25, you can get one really nice one for $70, and then the headphones are obviously a very personal kind of gift, like depending on what they like. I don't like the ones that you stick in your ears, like the new um, AirPod 
like ones that have the noise cancelling but you have to stick them in your ears. Nick has those and he loves them but I am not a vibe like that. I have the old, old school, original generation AirPods which I like because they just like hang in your ears. That's personally what I went with for Christmas and I think that any of these gifts you cannot go wrong with. I think taking the time to really think about what the person you're gifting for enjoys and I'm hoping that since you're here watching this video they are bookish like me and that you took the time to do the research, to watch the videos, and you've decided that you're gonna get them something that you think they would enjoy. I know everybody appreciates that, regardless of the price of the gift. It's really about the thought behind it. And if you're shopping for yourself, I see you, I hear you. You deserve it. Pull the trigger, get whatever you want. I hope that you're having a wonderful holiday season, and I hope that you're enjoying the coziness. I hope you made some cocoa and read a good book and put up some decorations and stuff like that. And I hope you're having a very safe holiday as well. If you're traveling, if you're celebrating, if you're drinking, be careful. I hope that you all have a great Christmas and I'll catch you again in my next video next time. Bye!